Hello. <laughs> Hi. I wanted to give you a quick update on what's going on because I haven't put out a long video very much for like a couple days. And I know you guys probably don't expect me to put out a long video every day all the time. I'm glad because I can't. But I am not just sitting here going, doo -doo -doo -doo. I'm working on stuff. I'm working on stuff to put out as a video and stuff like that you would assume that I didn't put out a video because I don't, I'm not working on one. And not because I'm putting work into it. it wounds me. I'm not afraid to say it wounds me. Physically as well as emotionally. Because every time I'm emotionally wounded, I have installed this app on my phone that works with a Bluetooth ankle stabber. And it kind of, you have to get it, you have to order it, weird. They only take crypto for payment, but basically it's like a behavioral reinforcer. Like, they use in factories in some places. You put it on your ankle and anytime your mood, which I measure through this watch, uh, your heart rate and your stress levels get to a certain point it turns that emotional trauma into physical ragged bloody chunks of pain that can never never equal the emotional turmoil that triggers the bluetooth 4.0 le response of you know the jagged serrated ankle stabber <laughs> But that's not why I seem so emotional, you know. That's, that's just one of the ways my therapist recommended I try to get, you know, deal with it. You know, people always say, get some help, man, up in my comments and stuff. First of all, there's nothing masculine about dealing with your issues. And there's nothing weak about discussing them, you know, on YouTube like this. I'm not coming here because I'm desperate. I'm coming here because I want you to know that these kinds of struggles are just ordinary daily occurrences for lots of people. Um, even people who haven't been formally inducted into the Elves Initiation Ceremony still understand having bouts of occasional depression. I think we all do. All of us mature, empathetic people do. So. And it isn't so much, I, it isn't so much that I get depressed. My problem is that I get like worried about stuff. The ankle bracelet's about to go off, I gotta keep it together. You get worried about stuff no matter how improbable. And then I fix it on it. My vivid imagination wraps itself like octopus tentacles around whatever thing would worry me most. And then it like, puts on a 4K mental production of the thing you're terrified of, every permutation possible. You know, the outtakes and the deleted scenes and the bloopers and the trailer version. And I'm like sifting through all this, trying to have thoughts and feelings that are related to what's actually going on around me because all of my perceptual and reactive ability is being siphoned off into like keeping at bay or participating in or a mixture of both of these weird psycho fantasies about things I'm worried about. And it feels like letting down my guard to stop worrying about them. And I'm trying to realize that, uh, you know, the feeling I'm calling letting down my guard is actually just functional cognition. If people are going to explode, negligence aside, worrying about it doesn't diffuse their randomly, you know, what did they call that when they thought self-combusting, you know, spontaneous self-combustion, which doesn't seem to be a thing. There should be people who say it's a thing. I don't agree. Um, anyway, so the point is, when the elves told me that these were the kinds of struggles I could face on my continued journey into the inner lands, as they seem to call them. It sounds like that in English, but you can hear they're not speaking English, but you think they are. It's very interesting. 
So I don't know, like, should I be surprised when this is exactly what the elves told me? I don't think so, but I can't help as a human being and not as a other realm, you know, inner world elf. Can't help but have an emotional reaction. You know, does it get to the point where I fight having just even an emotional reaction of any kind just because it's got a slight tincture of anxiety to it, you know? If you start ignoring all anxiety, that is how you become negligent. And I do not wish to become negligent. But I don't have a very advanced or functioning filter for which um, things to be anxious about are, you know, it has to be actionable. If it's not actionable, your concerns affect nothing. Um, it has to be immediate because you shouldn't have an anxious a tiger just walked in the room feeling about some future thing that you have to wait to get to, to interact with, you know, because that's too much of your percentage of your life. This finite event lasts for an hour and you worry about it for two months because you don't know what it'll be like or whatever. And then it's like, it's taken up two months and an hour. If you're anything like me, you stress out about all the things you did wrong, could have done better afterwards half the time. So that's another two months before that it's replaced by the next time you can knew you could just oh, ankle thing, man. It's been going off for a while now. I've just been trying to that's the whole point. The therapist said if I ignore the pain physically, then that shows I have the capacity to ignore the emotional pain. Yeah, I have an unconventional therapist. Um, I'm, I'm barred. I had to sign a lot of stuff. I can't really say any more than that. 